puts them all together. By clicking on little tabs, you can go from Philadelphia to New York, to the Netherlands, to St. Louis. Um, our comrades in, um, where were they last night? They just set up and started going. Not St. Louis, a uh, little, little, little town, Michigan. Flint, Flint, Michael Moore's hometown. That crew just set up uh, either yesterday or a couple days ago and they're broadcasting from Flint, Michigan. They were having some first day bugs and were reaching out to us for some technical help. Uh, I think we, uh, I think they're up, but I'm gonna, let me get this, let me get this. Uh, up. I have to stop talking because I can't type and talk at the same time. <sighs> Occupy, stream. Dot com and I'll put all that HTTP stuff in front of it so it will be a hot link HTTP colon slash slash www dot occupy stream dot com I'm gonna copy it so I can paste it for you guys a couple times and I can't copy it there okay there we go check that out man if you go to that site You'll find the Philadelphia tab, and then you'll be seeing exactly what you're seeing here. But you'll have the handy dandy way to click all the other cities. I jump around. Yeah, Global Revolution is the king. Global Revolution um, is the crew in New York City that started it. Livestream.com slash Global Revolution. I was um, sitting out on my deck. I think it was in the rain. Day one when they started. They've got a crew, Vlad, Victoria, Dwayne, Justin, Lorenzo, uh, many others. Uh, the, the mods are, are amazing. They had a crew that, um, without tents, got this rig that we got up and running, and they started broadcasting to the world. They are the biggest. Uh, this whole movement is really Occupy Wall Street. I mean, we are Occupy Philadelphia, but deep down in our heart, this global movement is about Occupy Wall Street and the money control of our government. Stop corporations from having more of a say in what the government does than we do. Yeah, we got one vote. Flux! Oh my God! I'm sorry I didn't mention you. Flux is the man. Flux is a beautiful person. You are my, excuse me, everybody. Let's all, let's all give it up for Flux Rostrum. Oh my God. I am so honored that you're watching me. I saw you guys day one. I ran out, downloaded, I got live stream, downloaded the app. I practiced, I was sitting in my living room with the camera pointing at my freaking face working it working it learning it learning it came out here to Philadelphia and um, the live stream was um, really not up and running and um, with with very little knowledge too much uh, uh, no it is not it is not flux I will stop flux Vlad Hong Kong offsite Hong Kong what would we do Oh my goodness, Flux! I I, I sent uh, 100 bucks to Hong Kong on his personal site to try to buy his time. I was talking like, I was the guy pleading, "What's your dream rig? What are you using?" Yeah, yeah. We don't have any. Uh, 
we, get, we just have laptops here, and uh, just today we got a couple more. So we have a uh, hardware assemblage of, I think, three or four uh, laptops. Um, we're, we're dying to get like a little webcam so we don't have to point the camera around. You know the, you know the routine. We'll get a uh, camcorder with FireWire out. Wouldn't that be great? Or the Sony, uh, what is it, uh, Tech 5 live streams wireless it tethers wireless to the laptop but man yeah i'm sure flux was running around chasing down marches you guys were running around with remote hotspots and laptops filming the people getting arrested i took screenshots of that poor little girl in the front probably the third person to get arrested with her knitted cap with the ears and the colorful thing she was standing there like a stoic champ she was proud she was not scared she got arrested and these are the images uh what flux and the crew in new york pumped out the first couple weeks of this occupation are what set it on freaking fire it's amazing it's amazing flux you had twenty-two thousand viewers 11 o'clock when you were filming the Brooklyn Bridge, 22,000 viewers. It was amazing. I saw the ticker going up, 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 up. It started at 2,000, I think, maybe five, and it, it just went wild. It was, I'm um, just besides myself. Ah, ah, appreciate your help, you guys. I was up in New York on day three. I was. I was a little intimidated, you know. I, I went up there to see you guys. I saw, I saw Flux, I saw Vlad, I saw Victoria. I was just a little too um, shy. I'm a shy guy. You don't, you wouldn't know it now. You put somebody in front of a one of these things, and they they get a little goofy, like a bananas. But I was shy. I didn't talk to you. I should have. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, you're right, man. This thing, yank the little cord, I go fly around the occupation, and it's cool. And then the worst thing that happens is, as soon as I walk away, somebody steals my table and my chair, and then I go chase it down. Yo, bring that back, bring that back. That's live stream, live stream rules. Ruby, you know it, you know it. Woo. Repression. Triumphs. So Flux, you jealous about our tents? I know you are. Look what we got. Poor Flux, the guys in New York City. No tents. You tried to have one tent for first aid, right? One tent for first aid. Put it up in the middle of the night. One tent for first aid. You would figure that Bloomberg would say, all right, we'll just let that one tent go. No, no. You still got it? That was when, um, who helped us out there? Jesse Jackson. Jesse Jackson was in the crowd. He joined arms with the crew, circled the first aid tent. The police backed off. Oh, you got him. Cool, cool. You need the tents, man. You need the tents. The New York guys were sleeping on wet mattresses, wet box springs, wet cardboard, soggy sleeping bags with either clear or blue plastic pulled over them every night for two, three, four weeks, right? Yeah, tents are cool. Flux, you don't have electric though, right? You guys are running generators. Is that right? Yeah, we saw them, uh, we saw the tents getting pulled down in Oakland. I saw the tents getting pulled down in St. Louis. And I'm sure those tents go right to a dumpster. You know, they don't uh, they don't save them. Let people come back and claim them, right? Yeah, yeah. You guys had rain, so much rain when you were getting going, trying to broadcast laptops out in the rain with tarps. I remember Justin's face, right, just like this. Good morning. Blue tarp over his head, a little light maybe, just talking to the crew, broadcasting in the rain, 
real close because it was dripping all over and he's trying like hell to keep his laptop from uh, yeah generators with propane right as opposed to um, gasoline yeah the media crew in New York if it's still like it was when I was there is right in the middle of the park out in the open surrounded by granite planters maybe uh, a couple ways in locked off you have a, uh, a couple real good security guys that just stand there all day real pleasant but um, real uh, protective looking I forget the comrade I was talking to he was an ace he was an ace we have um, we have electricity flux right here man somewhere down there there's probably one little extension cord coming out of uh, either one of those windows. I see somebody in there. Hey, wave. Maybe it's coming out. Maybe they have like a basement window or something like that. But Mayor Nutter, let us run one cord, and we have we have a mess of extension cords. Don't tell anybody because don't let anybody know. It's it's really a, not good to have an, 17 extension cords plugged in line to one another. I mean, gang box to gang box to gang box to gang box. Sometimes it's a uh, grounded plug. A lot of times it's not a grounded plug. You know, a little twisted up uh, lamp cord, extension cord from somebody's powder room that they brought over here. I'm uh, actually, this morning I got in and my personal extension cord that I had run out for this exterior station was absconded by one of my team members. I had to run and uh, find it and reclaim it, run it out here. But what I got here is a place to sit and charge. Flux knows all about charging the laptops. I remember, uh, send batteries, send batteries, send batteries. My goodness, we've come a long way. We've come a long way. Flux, you've seen this revolution get professional, haven't you? I know you guys are reaching out to some of the other cities to assist them with technical issues, um, all of the logistics it takes to do this stuff. Uh, it's really what we need, you know? I was thinking um, a little mini website called occupationtech.com. That was taken, but I think occupationtech.net is available. I should have scooped it up. Um, just a place where we can all contribute our little stories, describe our hardware, describe the problems and successes, you know, that kind of stuff. Because we're popping up all over the world. There's a website. Um, I, I put up the one um, uh, called uh, OccupationStream.com. There's another site called occupation let me start off with http http colon slash slash dub 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 dot occupation streams s t r e a m s i believe dot org occupation streams dot org this lists in text form every city that has an occupation including some that aren't broadcasting through the live stream network. Um, some are using um, Ustream, Ustream, what is it, something else. Um, personally, I think it's a miracle that we all, most of us decided on live stream as our funnel. Um, but there are even uh, others there. And there are hundreds, hundreds, including European cities. Sir, still on the scene, but one pedestrian was hit. I think taken to San Francisco first. General yeah. Hospital. Yeah. Like we'll let you know. Yeah. It looks like the situation has cleared, Bam, and the we'll world. monitor traffic in this in this area. 7:31. Let's go back to the desk. Thank you, Sal. A marathon Occupy Oakland protest that began yesterday is still going on outside City Hall this morning. However, things have really calmed down from the mayhem on the streets last night. <laughs>
Police in riot gear fired tear gas several times into the huge crowd of protesters backing the Occupy movement. The demonstrators were determined to retake the encampment outside Oakland City Hall. The streets of downtown Oakland often look like a battlefield. There were about 1,000 demonstrators in downtown Oakland late last night, but right now, only a handful remain. KTV's Noel Walker will have a live update from outside City Hall coming up in a half hour. Time out just turning 732, and KTV's Lorraine Blanco is also in downtown Oakland right now, checking out the damage from that confrontation that started more than 26 hours ago. Lorraine, so what have you seen? Not a lot. We're just about a block east of protesters right now. And as you can see, there's still police presence out here behind those buses as they're going by. Um, they're still blocking all of Frank Ogawa Plaza. There's no way to get in or to get out. And there's really not a big mess out here. There's some garbage on the ground. And there was actually some graffiti out here on the buildings. But as you can see, the city has since cleaned it up. Now, we drove several blocks surrounding 14th and Broadway early this morning. There were a few garbage trucks picking up the last remnants of trash. Not too bad, considering the hundreds of people gathered out here last night. We also found some signs on the ground criticizing police. One guy who accidentally got caught in the scuffle says officers may have overreacted. I was just kind of following the crowd, and like I said, I've never been in a protest, so I was just kind of curious. And then all of a sudden, they just started throwing canisters of tear gas. And I just kind of, my eyes started getting kind of all red. And... A city crew told us there was also some vandalism behind the barricades inside the plaza. They have since cleaned that up as well. And you can see the city has done a rather good job keeping it clean out here. Reporting live in Oakland, Lorraine Blanco, KTVU, Channel 2 News. All right, Lorraine, thank you. Time's now 7.33. This afternoon, supporters of the Occupy movement in Walnut Creek will gather again. Now, they've been rallying outside the Bank of America in downtown Walnut Creek every Wednesday for the past couple of weeks. But tonight, they're going to move to the Walnut Creek. Creek BART STATION. THE DEMONSTRATION IS DUE TO BEGIN AT THE START OF THE EVENING COMMUTE. NOW MAKE SURE YOU STAY RIGHT HERE WITH US AT KTVU NEWS FOR CONTINUING COVERAGE OF THE OCCUPY PROTEST. WE'RE FOLLOWING DEMONSTRATIONS ALL ACROSS THE BAY AREA. IT IS 734. THE FIGHT TO WIN THE GAY VOTE HAS BECOME AN ISSUE IN SAN FRANCISCO'S MAYORAL RACE. THE CHRONICLE REPORTS THERE ARE ACCUSATIONS THAT CITY ATTORNEY AND MAYORAL CANDIDATE DENNIS HERRERA did not initially support the city marrying same-sex couples. The claims were made by staffers of former mayor Gavin Newsom. Newsom decided to grant same-sex couples marriage licenses in 2004. Herrera adamantly denies the allegations and says he is still fighting against Proposition 8, which bans same-sex marriage in California. Supporters of medical marijuana are turning to the voters to fight a federal crackdown on dispensaries. Yesterday, the group announced they are drafting a 2012 ballot initiative. They want to impose a regulatory system with state inspections and licensing on medical marijuana providers. They say current efforts by the government to shut down dispensaries are too extreme and call it a slap in the face to voters who voted to legalize the use of medical marijuana in 1996. Time now, 735 San Jose property owners. You could be asked to pay for hundreds of millions of dollars. assembly every every evening at 7 p.m. then as soon as the general assembly ends let me shut that as soon as the general uh, assembly ends we'll go right into 1776 radio hosted by this guy right behind you Corey Clark um, and then we have a, a time slot open uh, after the happy hour with John Williams which is probably about 10 30 to 11 so that's actually not completely accurate uh -huh. then a uh, uh, Rap and Bullshit Show with me, John Zap7, uh, which will be music and talking and uh, poetry and all kinds of fun stuff like that. And then Poe's Panic Hour is going to start taking place every evening on Prometheus Radio, guesting here on the show, and uh, simulcast on our live stream at midnight.
So, and we're going to start figuring out what we're going to slot in here. We'll start giving you all the information, yeah. what's going to come there. We have lots of great footage. There's a new way to watch 60 Minutes on the iPad. See our stories anytime, anywhere. Available in the App Store now. You know, we constantly have stuff cool. through the screen. That's and we're trying cool. to fill in. I think during the day we're going to work yeah. on... Live stream. Live this is from ICE of an impending yeah, transfer. Live stream, we want to be going live, live as often as possible. Live, 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 live. So we're going to plug in the working groups who have their working stations here so we'll be able to communicate with them real clearly and start getting them up here so that they can have their platform for their yeah. their social justice that they're trying to further. So that's what we're doing here. That's exciting. Just wanted to show you that. We got a board oh, up. Man. We got some programming happening. Oh, man. And we're going to try to keep it consistent for everybody. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Great, man. Well, I'll do another walk around. Yeah, yeah. And if you want to, you want to pick up the show late, yeah, later. Yeah, I'll too. be going to the bathroom. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll need to go to the bathroom. Right now, Corey, you're around too, right? Or are you going off to do? Uh... Oh, right, right. That's good. Our guys do not sleep much. All right. What? From Rittenhouse Square. Yeah. Do you have a you have a mobile hotspot in your pocket? No. You got a rocket in your pocket? I would. I do. Do you? I got a rocket in my pocket, man. Awesome. One of these. It's got it for two for twenty bucks a month. To my AT&T account, I add a mobile hotspot. I click it on, and you chase down the marches, man. You, you go yeah. and stand in front of a march, and you walk backwards like this. Dun, 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 With the mobile hotspot, I can go for miles and miles and miles and miles. It's not as stable as being here, but thanks, Corey. All right. Yeah, that's the rig. That's the uh, that's the offsite rig, man. What are we doing here? Okay. Cheese steaks. <laughs> I know. Who's that madman? Who's that madman? Get rid of him. One of those mentally deranged homeless people absconded with a camera. It's going crazy. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Livestream.com slash Occupy Philadelphia. Yeah, not Philly. the ones in New York. Yes, yes. We just had uh, we just had a visitor from New York talking to us here, Flux Rostrum. Oh, really? You've seen Flux. He's on the Livestream.com slash Global Revolution. Yeah, I saw that one. I checked yes. that one out sometimes too. Yeah, they're the biggie. Yeah, well, there's, I see there's they three. Get more viewers. There's about three New York ones going now. They got um, many, many, many viewers. That's that's our heroes here. We're gonna. Really? Yeah, we copy, like, we, we we copy them. Yeah, that's, I wasn't gonna use. I wasn't gonna say copy. We, yeah, uh, we like copy power. them. Yeah. We we're inspired, inspired by them. By them yeah. yeah, exactly. What's your name, uh, man? Mike Belosi. Yeah, Mike. Mike cool. Belosi, yeah. You've been out here a few times. I've been out here what? much. I come by yeah. and uh, I'm interested in the movement and uh, I'd like to. In some ways, but yeah. I'm just not sure how to well, do by it, being so right here, man, mm -hmm. that's number one. Just it's called occupying. You are occupying, and that's it. <laughs> that's the strongest thing we're doing. Yeah. All right. Well, thank cool. you. Cool. Thanks for your time, oh, man. Enjoying the free Wi-Fi too sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Same here. Same here. That's it, man. We occupy. I've said this many times, but. My peeps, I got a lot of Republican peeps. You know, I have a business, regular, regular guys, and they, I tell them what I'm doing here. Yeah, and besides the fact I'm not working on their website or the brochure that's due, but in general they go, yeah, I know about the occupation. They scrunch up their face like this. Yeah, I know, but you know, they don't, they don't know what they're doing. They don't have demands. They're not clear. They don't have goals. You know, all those things that. Um, they know and are, are used to and I say you know it took 40 years of one of these people to ask any one person young or old or even to ask the occupation as a whole for the answers I say mm -mm. it took a hundred or a thousand legislative decisions and payoffs and shenanigans to get us in this situation and you want us to pick from the Chinese menu of solutions you know like reverse or uh, reinstate Glass-Steagall reverse uh, the Supreme Court decision uh, you know the name 
um, a thousand different things that would be good ideas, but that is not the point. We're not here to tell you what the answers are, because you know what? They know what the answers are. Our role is to occupy, to go, physically go, physically be in a space, physically be in a space, and put a spotlight on a problem. We are all here, we're putting a spotlight on the problem that money controls our government. Corporations control our government. It overwhelms our one boat that we got. We are here to just be, be seen, and that is... This would be our, this would be our media tent. Uh, this table here is actually our live stream table. Uh, it is uh, powered by solar power. Somebody brought some solar generating, uh, some solar cells in uh, to help us with our power needs. This table over here is where we do uh, some of our editing, our blogging, our video uh, editing and whatnot. Um, Yeah, as you can see, it's a little muddy. Uh oh, hold on a sec, guys. Let me just, uh, if it's raining. Okay, I think we should be okay. I think we should be okay, but uh, I may have to cut the tour short as we've had some inclement weather here. Um, this is the, this is the north side of, uh, this is the north side of St. James Park here in Toronto. And, uh, Right under that blue tarp is where our solar panels are. Uh, they'll be uncovered later, I'm sure. Uh, this tent over here, we have a, a small children's area in case, uh, you know, any kids uh, are coming in. We have had a lot of children uh, in the park during the daytime. And uh, as you can see, we've got more and more tents popping up every day. <laughs> uh, yeah, I did get some sleep. And, uh, yeah, so we'll give you a nice view from outside of our media tent. Uh, and then we'll take a step over here so you can actually see our media tent. This is, uh, this is where I spend a lot of my time. Um, mostly because I like to know what's going on, you know? So, uh, yeah, there's our media tent. I believe these larger tents were, um, were donated to us from one of our local e labor unions. We have uh, another company that uh, came by and uh, provided some Wi-Fi for us, uh, which uh, we are very, very grateful for. All right, and as you can see, it's a little messy here right now. We had a an entire evening of rain last night which uh, we do not appreciate but I suppose it's better than snow and uh... oh it's totally an alternative community sir it's uh... it's certainly an experience here in uh... in uh... Occupy Town T.O. This here is our free school tent. Uh, we have several uh, presentations given on, on a daily basis uh, by our knowledgeable occupiers on all sorts of issues. Um, we've got a solidarity discussion uh, tonight. Uh, Richard, I'm not sure. Uh, we'll be passing by the logistics tent shortly. Um, I will. Will uh, I will uh, ask them uh, perhaps while I'm over there. We've got a class tomorrow on debates, uh, social problems, Aboriginal history, all sorts of things. Uh, we're going to take a walk up here. We'll see our. Uh, We'll see our info tent and our sanitation tent. This is where our hard-working sanitation uh, 
crew uh, operates out of. Uh, we love our sanitation crew because they are the ones that keep us clean. And uh, and hello, would you like to be on live stream? This is our this is our awesome info tent, informing the public uh, of our. Oh wow! Ah, did I pick the wrong tent? Uh, I guess to join. I would love to have some Monty Python ja jokes. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, that's our information tent. They keep the public informed. That's where all our posaganda, as I like to call it, uh, is uh, distributed from. And we have a wicked line of how do you call uh, porta potties? Uh, sorry, new to make you jealous. I PG Highway. That's over 500 miles per tank. Makes my butt, and I'm just thinking about it. When you look at the Never different lost. tank that I put out, you see engineer for the whatever. 180 the prescription. That's an address that I live at. So I try to embody everything that I've been through in all the different places that I've been and seen. to my music.
in Oakland, California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded in Oakland, like California, where one man off. said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it sounded like California, where one man said, and I do quote, it s